Hello and welcome back to Mac at the Movies. Today I'm bringing you another weekly movie review with a piping hot cup of coffee. <laughs> the film Bernard and Huey. Uh, this film was released June 8th, 2018 by Freestyle Digital Media and directed by Dan Mervish, who had also directed Omaha, Open House, and Between Us. Uh, this film stars Jim Rash as Bernard, David Koechner as Huey, Mae Whitman as Zelda, and Richard Kind as Marty. Uh, you get a little bit of Marty in the movie. Uh, Marty, you find out, is the older brother of Huey. Uh, Zelda is the daughter of Huey. And Bernard is the best friend of Huey. Uh, or I guess that's what you're led to believe. There's a, an odd dynamic that you get between these two characters where Bernard's very much that, that meek, kind guy and Huey is just that in your face. I don't care who you are or what you want. I'm going to get me for me. So I, I'm going to do my thing. I don't care about you as long as whatever it is I'm doing for you gets what I want in the process. Uh, the, the characters of Bernard and Huey uh, had been estranged for many a year. Uh, in this film, uh, you get uh, a glimpse uh, of the past, and then it kind of comes into the future where they hadn't seen each other for 25 years, and Bernard basically opens the door to Huey standing there and more or less invites himself in. Uh, there, there's a momentary uh, miscommunication of identity, but uh, the, it's definitely, you see the dynamic come back into play and throughout the film, you see the character of Bernard, who used to be this kind, just timid, meek person. He, he sort of comes into his own and becomes a, a, a better person without having had Bernard, and, or I mean, uh, Huey in his life for all this time. And uh, Huey enters his life again, and you see the dynamic sort of shift and it sort of falls back into place of how it used to be. I think it was kind of interesting to see this on, like in, in the film and uh, to see, you know, how many times, I mean, I'm sure this happens in life quite often to many people. So it was neat to see that angle. And then the character of Zelda, who's Huey's daughter, comes in very, uh, uh, just very, like, like the female version of a like a he-man woman hater, I guess a a She-Ra man hater. I I don't know, but the just you know hates women. She is an artist, but all of her art is essentially uh, against men. Uh, highly involved with uh, uh, I guess the phallic nature of men and their self downfall. I, I don't know. It was, it, it was one of those, she hates men, but she loves men. And you get this kind of sort of idea that she's very much like her father in the opposite sense. Like, uh, you know, Huey was very much a character, uh, that, that did not respect or care for women in the least bit, so long as he got what he needed out of them. And she's very much the uh, the exact same person, just, you know, swap genders there. Uh, and at one point in time uh, in the film, uh, the character of Bernard starts a relationship with Zelda, uh, which he fears is going to ruin the friendship that he has rebonded with Huey. And uh, it's very awkward, but in the entire time this is going on, Huey knows. He's, he's very much in the know of everything that's happening throughout this film. Uh, and it, it's, it just comes with the overwhelming sense of confidence he has in just the overall situation of life. Uh, he knows where he goes wrong and what happened and if something backfires on him, he's very much like, why is this happening to me? This doesn't happen to me. 
and it just sort of goes from there. You see a, a moment where he starts to kind of hit rock bottom, uh, but at the same time, his version of rock bottom isn't everyone's version of rock bottom. Uh, you know, everyone's going to vary, but usually there's a uh, a loss of close ones, things like that through the process. Uh, you're left alone and you have nothing, you have nothing. And so you have to start to rebuild yourself. His nothing is women. So th there's a scene where uh, some late night ladies of the evening uh, try to pick him up. And he's like, I, I don't pay for women. Like you, you should be lucky to have a person like me in your life. Goes on this big tangent. And then they kind of walk away and he decides to stop and ask how much, which is something he would have never done in the past. But you kind of see this like breakdown of his spirit in that scene. And uh, it, it's kind of it's kind of sad uh, in, in the, the way it's portrayed. Uh, it's almost like he lost a, a close one, like uh, like his daughter just ran out on him. It's like, F you, I don't need you in my life. You know. What, whatever happens with you happens, but I'm not going to be in it. He had that moment with some hookers. So uh, it, it was kind of a, a, a neat way to see how that was switching. Uh, and then it just seems like everything turns around back in his good graces. There's a weird chainsaw or something like that happening outside. <laughs> the, this whole morning there's been like revving trucks or something going on outside and it's uh yeah anywho uh this was a good movie uh it was interesting to see how uh people sort of regressed into their old ways and uh not for the better so uh it, it was uh, an interesting movie to say the least uh i i enjoyed uh, the, the dynamic between Bernard and Huey, uh, as dysfunctional as it was. Um, but all in all, I, I definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't already. And if you had, jot down in the comments below what you thought of this film. Um, I thought it was okay. Nothing too crazy spectacular. Two stars. I'm going to give it two stars out of five. Uh, I think that is sort of, I don't know, it just, it, it didn't, pull me as much as I thought it would, uh, especially with uh, Rash and Kettner, uh being casted there. Uh, I really like Jim Rash. I do feel like he didn't make this character. Uh, it, it almost seemed like he was, I, like it didn't fit him. So uh, I, I think that may have been recasted or maybe it could have been done in a different direction. Uh, but like that, I, I again like Jim Rash as an actor. I've seen him in quite a bit of stuff. Uh, but I, at the same time, he didn't seem to fit this character. Um, I, I can get that timid, and meek sense of behavior, but uh, trying to be this—I don't know—overwhelming ladies' man. It, it, it was kind of weird. It was, uh, yeah. So so much about it, like fit him in the movie but a lot more didn't so but i definitely say check it out two stars out of five uh, i give this one and again comments below what did you think of the movie if you saw it have you not seen it and you really want to see it uh i don't know jump whatever you want down in the comments you're allowed to do that uh what's your favorite coffee you could put that down in there too and uh as always thank you for stopping by be good to one another, and I will see you next time.